is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 25 guys and we have two of my favorite wrestlers in the world today my boy finn balor my boy seth rollins going into some great matchups here tonight money in the bank is tonight i'm super excited for it. you guys know it's my second favorite pay-per-view and tonight my boy finn balor is going for the money in the bank briefcase and my boy seth rollins is defending his universal championship versus the phenomenal aj styles and i'm super pump for it all but before we watch the show guys we got to get into some surgery dr white has to check into the hospital go into the surgery room and start to perform on these two men today we got a lot of fix-ups to do mainly seth rollins fix-ups but we do have one finn balor fix-up but you know it is episode 25 i can't believe we're already 25 episodes into this wonderful series probably my favorite series here on the channel it just uh, it's, it's so fun to get on here and show you guys uh, you know switching parts and some cool fix-ups that you guys can do but anyways i'm I'm going to take you through all the fix-ups we're going to do here today. Pretty simple stuff, but pretty effective. I think they're going to turn out great and wonderful once we switch them all around. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing today. So for starters, guys, you guys know that the other day we did review the brand new Top Talents 2019 set with Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, AJ Styles, and Braun Strowman. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out on the channel. But uh, we talked about this head scan and how I really did not care for it. This uh, ringside exclusive head scan that's got the True Effects technology now and it still just doesn't look right. I, I, I like a beard on my Finn Balor. I, I talked about how I want Mattel to give us a long, thick beard Finn Balor head scan. So what we're going to be doing today is switching the 2018 Top Talents Finn Balor head scan over to the 2019 Top Talents Finn Balor, and I think it'll make it look a lot better. Another thing I want to do is I want to do something with this figure, like a fix-up, switch the kick pads, switch the knee pads. I want to do something. I cannot figure out what I want to do just yet, but maybe in a future surgery video we'll figure that out. But we are going to be switching the heads on these two guys and that should make the top talents 2019 look a lot better so that is the first swap that we're going to be doing very simple stuff but i think it'll be really effective next up guys we're going to be making a monday night rollins and i've done this fix up before but i, I feel like this will be the easiest way to do it again because i used it to uh, make a different fix up and so i'm going to be making it again here today and what i'm going to do is take the SummerSlam elite seth rollins switch the arms onto the top talents that way you have his look after a Elimination Chamber or right around the time of Elimination Chamber. I think it was like right after the Rumble or something. He used to rock the same uh, gauntlets slash wristbands with the Monday Night Rollins attire. So we're going to be switching these arms over here and after that we're going to put on the Monday Night Rollins t-shirt and it will be beautiful looking. I think that is going to look magnificent. It's going to look really sick up on the shelf. Again, very simple swap. These arms over here, I think I already have a SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins that looks like that. I have like four or five of these so and I have like six of these. It's just, I just built up the Seth Rollins collection so that I can do the fix-ups and the swaps and the customs and all that good stuff. So that is another very simple swap. We'll switch the arms and add the Monday Night Rollins t-shirt. That's another very simple but effective swap we're going to do here today. The last two are pretty easy and simple, but we do require some painting for these. What we're going to do with this one, guys, is this is the brand new Top Talents 2019 Seth Rollins. What we're going to do is take the head scan off of it and take the vest off of this Elite 52 Seth Rollins put the vest over on the 2019 Top Talents, and then pop a Top Talents 2018 head scan of Seth Rollins over on here. So now we'll have a Greatest Royal Rumble, we'll have a SummerSlam 2016, we'll have the Ultimate Seth Rollins, we'll have the Elite 52 vest with the accurate tights and the accurate head scan. I think that'll be a really simple but effective swap again, so I think it'll be awesome. And the last thing that we're going to be doing, if you guys can't tell what we're going to do already, is we're going to take this Elite 45 Seth, one of my favorite figures Mattel has ever released. We're going to pop off this smiling Elite 45 head scan. We're going to replace it with this Top Talents head scan, but that is not all. We're also going to be adding the blonde hair streak to his hair like the bottom right here you guys will see on the elite 45 head scan you guys can see right there um i'm gonna be adding that blonde streak to his hair right there Rewatch that match with john cena the other day just to you know relive the moment and my god guys that match was so awesome except for it got ruined in my opinion by john stewart i don't like celebrities in my wrestling why did you have to ruin that Still epic to see Seth Rollins win both belts, you know, and all that good stuff, but jeez, man, you had to ruin it. Anyways, put the Top Talents head scan on there, paint the blonde streak in there. I think it's going to look really sick. So that is pretty much it for what we're going to be doing here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. So I guess what we can do is start off with Finn Balor, and then uh, we'll go into the Seth Rollins, Mo we'll go into the Monday Night Rollins switch, then we'll go into the Elite Series 52 slash 2019 Top Talents switch, and then we'll finish it off with the uh, painting of the Top Talents onto the Elite 45 figure. 
So let's get started. All right, guys, so for the first swap, it should be relatively easy. I'm just going to flip their heads around like this. Uh, just maybe stack them or maybe put them like that. Just take the trusty old white hair dryer, put it in position, and fire this hoe up. All right, guys, hopefully that is good enough, and hopefully we don't snap any neck pegs going on here. Oh, God, what is that? What is that? All right, there we go. So we got the 2018 Top Talents. Now we got to get the 2019 Top Talents, and oh, my God, I don't think it's hot enough because the stupid idiot moron was in second place. This one was closer, so it got heated up more, and now I'm going to have to heat it up. I won't show you guys the heat up method again. You'll just see when it's already loose. All right, guys, let's try that again. Should be good enough this time. Christ on a bike, man. You see how much that separated it? I freaking hate that trash. This freaking head scan sucks eggs. Oh my god, look at that neck gap. Look at that freaking neck gap. I got it off, but Jesus, man. Hopefully when I put the head scan back on it, we're gonna go ahead and pop the 2019 head scan onto the 2018 body. There we go, we'll look at that at the end. Um, we've seen that pretty much already though. And now we'll pop the 2018 onto the 2019 body. And my God, guys, we almost had disaster. Hopefully this can, like, fix it a little bit, putting this head scan over here. Jesus, man. Oh, my God, what are we doing? <sighs> Like, look how freaking loosey-goosey that peg is, dude. Jeez, man. Oh, that is just terrible. Oh, he's like a bobblehead. My God! So he's a freaking bobblehead now, guys. Look at this. He's a freaking, like, look how loose and goose that head is. There's a freaking gap right there. Oh, my God. I think this head scan just, uh, I think it sits too high. I actually have a, or it sits, I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't uh, get the tightness in there. I may have to fill up the head scan with, like, some paper or something. Also, I think I can fix this possibly. I'm, I'm not sure. That pisses me off. God almighty. Uh, well, surgery didn't start off too hot. F. Well, Finn Balor's done. Let's move on to the next effing segment. For this next segment, guys, what we're going to have to do for Seth Rollins is I'm going to go ahead and pop the vest off because I feel like if you heat it up, I don't know if you guys have ever heat up a Roman Reigns. If you heat up a Roman Reigns with the vest on, it will warp the absolute dog crap out of the vest, and you do not want that. So go ahead and take off your Elite 52 vest. That way you don't worry about warping it and all that good jazz. Sit it off to the side, not even near the hair dryer. And uh, now we're going to heat up. Uh, we, well, we, we're done with this. We don't have to heat up this head scan. This Elite 52 is done. Now we can sit him over here with the terrible Finn Balor fix up and heat up this, uh, this 2019 top talent, Seth Rollins. And at the same time, we can heat up this uh, this top talent's head scan of Seth Rollins. All right, guys, hopefully this is good enough. I don't want it to end up like the freaking Finn Balor did. My God. And now it doesn't even feel ready, guys. I'm about to start just using hot water. This, this stuff's pissing me off. All right, guys, maybe that's good enough. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Mother I finally got the godforsaken Top Talents 2019 head scan off. Let's see if the uh, the older head scan will even go on there now. It may be cooled off. Okay, so it popped on there nice. Now we just have to add the vest wherever I put it. Okay, I found it. I, I, I just feel like a total failure here today in surgery. Dr. White not doing so good. He's too busy thinking about money in the bank and, uh, and all this other jazz. And he's effing up all the surgeries, man. People are getting messed up out here. Action figures. Just, just hashtag save the figures. All right, so we got the vest on to the Seth Rollins. Now what we're going to do is set him over there with Balor and everything else. And now we're going to move on to the Monday Night Rollins fix-up. All right, guys, on this one, I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't mess it up too bad because it's just an arm swap, right? I mean, hopefully I don't screw everything up because it's an arm swap. Like, can you screw up an arm swap? Let's let's go. You think episode 25, you know, we're we're pretty deep into this. How messed up can we do? I mean, we're we're effing everything up out here.
I looked away for a half second and I realized that the figures blew away now and uh, the arms still come off here of the top talents figure but I don't know how much luck we're going to have with the freaking uh, the, the, the SummerSlam here yeah this left arm is freaking oh my god in heaven can anything go right today alright so we got the right arm alright we got the we got the left arm I mean or no that is the right arm you stupid idiot moron oh my oh my god <sighs> I'm sure you guys heard that and can tell how frustrated I am. Alright, so we got that arm on there. Alright, so the arms are on to the top talents. I'm not even going to worry about putting the other arms onto the SummerSlam right now. We're just going to put the t-shirt onto the top talents now, and uh, we'll take a look at it when it's done. This is just a nightmare, man. Is this is this like the worst? Is this the worst that surgery has gone this, this far into the series? Episode 25? We decided to just mess everything up. So here we go, putting the t-shirt onto Rollins. And we will take a look at him at the end, just like we always do. All right, guys, for our last swap and little customization of the day, what we have to do is take this vest off of this Elite 45 Seth Rollins. Again, like we, so we don't warp it or anything like that when we're heating up the head scan. So we're going to pop this off. And then we're going to heat up both of these head scans, the Elite 45 and the Top Talents. And once it is completely swapped, then we will come in and add the blonde straw to the hair and he will look how he did when he fought John Cena at SummerSlam 2015. Alright guys, that should be long enough. This head scan has some problems sometimes, like it'll be really stiff, nasty. And, uh, so, oh my god, I'm, I, I just don't know. This one's, like, really stiff, and that was, like, heated up forever, guys. Like, what in the hell is wrong with this? Makes no sense to me. Yeah, that's not coming, dude. That is freaking on there. Like, I, I don't know. I just heated that hoe up for so long. Let's, I guess I gotta put it back under. All right, guys, is that good enough now? Now the arm's all loose. Jesus, man. Like, wh why can't anything go right today? I, I don't understand. I, I don't, uh, like, I don't get it. What in the hell is going on? Mercifully, mercifully, I got it off. I'm scared to do it on camera because I want to get the right angle, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to snap it or anything. So, I, you know what, I'm, I, you know what I mean? I don't want to, like, put it on camera and then not get a good angle on it and then end up snapping it in half. But now that arm's all loose. Like, what the hell is that? Maybe it'll be better when it cools down or something, but there's the head scan on here. It looks absolutely fantastic. I know my boy Steinsenberg has done that before, and I know a lot of other people have done it before. It looks so good, but it's gonna even look better once we add the blonde hair to it. So I guess now what we're gonna do is cut to a little time lapse of me painting the streak into the hair of this Seth Rollins. Alright guys, so here is everything that we have done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. I know it was a frustrating episode, guys. I mean, my goodness, we just can't... Dr. Whitekiss could not get it together. I mean, I was screwing up everything. I don't know, the hair dryer wasn't heating up the plastic. It wasn't making it soft, and when it did make it soft, it made it too soft. Almost nearly broke the neck of this Finn Balor that we just got. We got this big gap. He turned into a bobblehead. I'll figure out a way to fix it. I, I, I will figure that out. There, there will be retribution for this Finn Balor. But the Seth freaking Rollins, man, my boy Rollins came out hella, hella fire. I mean, is this a sign that Finn Balor will not win money in the bank and Seth Rollins will retain his Universal Championship? I think that I think that's what's going to happen. I think Seth will retain and Finn Balor will most definitely not win the money in the bank briefcase, as cool as it would be. But let's take a look at everything we got here today, guys. First off, Monday Night Rollins looks fantastic. I think it turned out great. And if I can, I'll, pr uh, I'll bring up a picture of why I made this exact fix up. You guys will see. It's the, uh, the SummerSlam gauntlet slash wristbands with the Monday Night Rollins attire and the Monday Night Rollins shirt. Beautiful looking fix up. I like the way it came out a lot. Again, I've already done this fix up before, but I never had the official Mattel uh, Monday Night Rollins t-shirt. Since I've gotten more top talents and I've done some switches, I had to use my older 
newer version of this figure, so I wanted to remake it here with the Mattel official shirt from the Top Talents 2019 Seth Rollins. In the left, I was going to do the middle, but we'll do the left first. We have the Top Talents 2019 Seth Rollins fix-up with the, with the older Top Talents head scan and the Elite 52 vest. Very nice fix-up. This makes this figure perfect now. It's a perfect representation of Seth Rollins in this attire. Looks great. Looks terrific. I'm very excited and happy to add this to the collection. Everything about it looks great. I'm so glad Mattel switched the, 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 switched the knee pads to lime green with black paint instead of black with lime green paint. It makes it look a lot better and you don't have to worry about that green chipping on the front there. So that Rollins turned out great. And then here is the Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 2015 guys and I would love to know down below what you guys think. I think it turned out perfectly. I think the blonde hair color does match pretty well to, you know, the color that Mattel uses. You guys can see there, it looks pretty good. I, I like it a lot. I think it did turn out well. You know, the, the blonde hair was almost about gone. It had like a little bit left before, you know, he fully lost it when he returned to Extreme Rules in 2016. But I really do like this, man. I think this Top Talents head scan just looks so good. It's probably one of the best Mattel scans they've ever done. And when you put it on the different Rollins figures, I just think it brings it out so much more, man. I love it to death. And uh, with the blonde streak, man, it just takes us back to a time when, you know, Seth Rollins was killing it. I mean, he's still killing it right now as Universal Champion, but in 2015 I did like his 2015 heel run. So, that's a great looking there. 2016 SummerSlam, you got the Monday Night Rollins, and then of course we have our top 20, our top talents 2019 Finn Balor, which did bite the dust a little bit. But all is well here today. I think it was overall a successful day of surgery, but a frustrating road to get to the success if you get what I'm saying. But, I did have fun here today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video regardless. Maybe you guys got a kick out of me raging a little bit and getting a little bit upset about the surgery that went down today. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy Money in the Bank. Look forward to a review of Money in the Bank going up immediately after the show, so turn on your notification bell and stay tuned for that tonight. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyAmToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.